friend zone? Is this part of some game? What are you talking about? I put you here? Yeah, this is where guys go when dumb girls like you don't realize they should like us in a romantic way and the way we want them to and exactly when we feel it, but not before because you. for three years and he told me he liked me and I did not feel the same way and he hasn't spoken to me ever since. I was just wondering if you could help me find a way to speak to him again. Oh, I, I miss him a lot. He was my best friend. Oh girl, have I been through this. This is a classic tale of what some men like to so wrongfully call friend zoning. Let me tell you a story passed down from many generations of female-identifying cupcakes in my family that may be of help to you. <gasps> Princess Cookie and the Land of the Friends. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful, ingenious, sexiest, <laughs> chocolate chip-filled princess. <laughs> yeah, sure. She loved to laugh and play and have fun and look sexy all the time! I don't know if that's entirely accurate. I said she was smart and sexy! Okay, okay, calm down. Sheesh. Well, what she says is, uh, pretty true, but mostly I like to have fun. Oh, hey look now! There's my buddy and favorite person to play with, Sir Macaron. Hey Mac, what's up buddy? Hey, Princess Cookie! <laughs> Eh, I'm just chilling, making some wishes, you know, whatever. Oh, fun! I'm gonna make a wish too. Hmm. <laughs> um. I wish that Mac and me stay best friends forever so we can always play games and have fun together. <laughs> now let's go play! Yeah, best friends forever. Great. I'm okay. It's great down here, actually. Lots of snails and water and sh Thanks for throwing me in. Hello? These two had been playing since the day they were born. Their time together was special. Cookie felt seen, and they just got each other. In Cookie's mind, nothing could ruin their friendship, but she was wrong. Okay, I have three kings, two elves, and one sugar cookie. Beat that! Uh... I, uh... Are you okay, dude? Uh, yeah, totally. I, uh... I have all the hearts for you. You, you have all my hearts. What? That's not a hand. Uh, I know. I guess... I was... I mean, I know it wasn't a hand. I just, uh... I just wanted to tell you that you have my heart. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Thanks. I mean, that's great and all, and I care about you too, but like, as a friend. What? Let's play another round. Ugh, I haven't heard from Mac in like four weeks. This can't be because I don't have romantic feelings for him, can it? That's it. I'm putting together a royal search party and finding him. Cookie looks everywhere for Mac. We won't give up until we find Mac. They search the swamplands, and the gardens, and the beaches and mountains. What 
is this place? Friend zone? Everybody wait here. I'll investigate myself. Uh, hello? Is anyone in here? Mac? Mac! What are you doing here? What is this place? It's the friend zone. You put me here when you didn't return my feelings of love. But I do love you. Yeah, but... Not the way you want me to. Friend zone! Friend zone? Is this part of some game? What are you talking about? I put you here? Yeah, this is where guys go when dumb girls like you don't realize they should like us in a romantic way and the way we want them to and exactly when we feel it, but not before, because you. Um, excuse me? Dumb girls? Just because a girl doesn't want to kiss your sticky faces doesn't mean she's not worth having as a friend. The fact that you all disappear from your friendships just because it's not exactly how you want it to be makes you cowards. No friend owes you anything, and if you can't deal with that, then you're not worthy of their friendship in the first place. Mac, this place is just as fictional as the lands we make up in our games. You're better than this. What do you say? Are you man enough to be just my friend? You know what? I think I am. Well, I'm staying here forever and I hate old girls now. Okay, bye. <laughs> and they lived as just friends happily ever after. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how Cookie got her friend back. Now, as well as this tale went for Cookie, this is also a cautionary tale. It doesn't always go this way. Cookie was lucky that Mac was able to see her point and talk openly about it. You should also be able to respect his feelings and be understanding if you need some space. Just know that if your friend can't see the value in your friendship without you being romantically interested in him, sadly, he isn't really a friend worth having. Good luck, Gerwa! We believe in you! Until next time, friends, stay strong!